What's up guys, Revit Commander here, bringing you in another video this morning. Uh, so this morning I'm going to be talking to you about four different types of arrows that I have, uh, a couple of different types of bows that I have, one's a crossbow handgun, the other one is a compound bow. Uh, I have two compound bows, I'm only going to be showing you one though because my other one is in my car. It is set up for coyote hunting. So I, I don't wanna show you guys that one right now. I'll probably show you guys that one on another day to where I do a video about its setup and stuff. So today we're gonna to be talking to you about a 50 pound handgun crossbow and a 60 pound compound um, bow. Oh, and the four different types of arrows I use. Use and the arrows I use for uh, the crossbow. Oh, and how much that is and how much it costs to get the crossbow set up and ready for hunting and stuff. So the crossbow you guys have seen before in my other videos. This is my crossbow that I have. I have used it in on during to go hunting and stuff huff but I don't use it as much because the arrows are kind of hard to find if, if you miss and you shoot them because they're so small but anyhow this is a 50 pound handgun crossbow um, basically how you load it is you stick your foot in here here and you pull that back you take it off safety and it the string is going to sit down in this little groove there that you see and you, then you can put it back on safety so that it doesn't pop up and shoot the arrow on itself Elf. and then once that happens and you've got that loaded loaded you take aim at something and you shoot uh, this is a good crossbow this retails on Amazon for eleven dollars and seventy four cents um this one it it has this on it so you can load it easier but i find it easier just to pull the string with my hands hands when i do this because it's a lot easier and it's faster to load uh, i have used this to rabbit hunt and stuff i only use it rabbit hunting I'm going to be using it for uh, rattlesnake hunting and stuff though during the summer when they are out and active. You've got your rear sight here, you've got your turn dial here and your turn dial on the side to adjust your sight on the rear. You got your front sight which is this little ball up here and your arrow, there's a groove that along here that's where your arrow sits and usually when I load an arrow um, I only like to load it about so far back or else it's gonna or else the string is gonna go above it and it's not gonna shoot shoot the strings for these you can get on Amazon as well I've got them off of Amazon. Um, the strings retail about $3.99, which is good because I have like, I only have two more of these left. Left. I still have, I ordered three. My first one is still on here, but um, this this deal is breaking slowly and so it's cutting the deal so I'm going to have to replace that soon uh, but these retail for $3.99 on Amazon not bad for these and then the um, the bolts which which are these, a package of these, 
um, costs around, I don't know if I could find the right ones, I, I can't find the right ones right now, but, um, Here's one similar to it. It retails for around six seventy five, which is not bad. But uh, and then then a bow that I the the bolts are. This part back here is plastic, very breakable. The tip, you can screw off. You can screw it off to replace it with another type of broadhead. I've, I've never tried, like, I don't think I could use this. No, can't use that. Can't use the ones for your regular arrows, for your bow hunting arrows. But, um, these are very, these are very sharp. Sharp enough to penetrate a rabbit, sharp enough probably to penetrate a rattlesnake, I'm hoping. Because this is what I'm going to be using. Um, and then a couple of different arrows that I'm going to be using are, one is a, uh, one is the Hunter Expedition Gold Tip. And and I used, this was one of the very first arrows I used. I only have a couple of these left because uh, I've lost them rabbit hunting and stuff. But they are good arrows. I would recommend getting these types of arrows. And just like the the crossbow bolts, uh, they do. Uh, you can replace them. I I I usually like to use. Uh, I like to use these ones because they are sturdy. They are pretty sturdy. Which is kind of nice. Uh, then the next kind I I like to use. These are Easton arrows. These are metal, but they are also flexible, which is nice. Um, just like the others, this one doesn't have one on it. I'll just go ahead and put one on it. You can. Put different broadheads or practice heads or whatever you want on on them. Uh, another type of arrow I use. This doesn't really have a brand to it, but uh, I've been using this one a lot. <laughs> Same with it. Unscrew the tip. Put different broadheads on. Very, very flexible, very nice arrow. Um, then when I had this other different type of bow when I was younger, I was using a different type of arrow. This is just a normal practice arrow. I shoot these ones when I actually practice. I don't shoot my good arrows because I don't want to ruin those in practice. So I shoot these kind in practice a lot because I like this kind a lot better to practice with because you can't unscrew the top of these. These are glued on there. You, you, you can't get these off. You can't. They are practice arrows. I have killed a few rabbits with these before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it is kind of hard because usually they just bounce right off. Depending on the yardage. So usually with these. If I take these rabbit hunting. I try to get like. 15-20 feet from a rabbit. And then shoot it. Uh, then the compound bow. That I've got. This is a. This is a browning. 
Bantam XL series. Um, good bow. I haven't used it hunting. I've been practicing with it. Um, you guys can see that I've got a, I've got a sight on it. I got this sight for Christmas. Um, I haven't really ever tried looking this bow up on Amazon because I don't know if I can find it. I haven't been ever able to find it yet, but, uh, it has one of those deals to where you can, like, I'm not sure what they are, but they come, like, straight out, and you can screw them into this little piece here. Um, I've got my arrow rest here. That's what this thing here is. Is Then I've got my bow sight. And I like, the thing I like about my bow sight is it's got this, like, white strip coming around the front here. And that's a glow-in-the-dark. I believe also that the uh, deals are glow in the dark. I I have never tried it out yet because I don't want to go nighttime hunting with a bow. That that's kind of dangerous. But um, thanks again for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, at the end of the month, I will be picking one winner for the $25 Amazon gift card. Uh, so stay tuned and like, comment, and subscribe if you want to win. Uh, I might be doing a video maybe tonight about fishing lures. The different type of fishing lures that I use for when I go fishing. Um, so... See you tonight.